Someone asked me, Harley, can you please comment about the hypocrisy in the London Olympic Games 2012? We have the uh, the Chinese swimmer wins a race and instantly claimed by the uh, US swimming hot sauce coach that <laughs> she's she's doping. Yet Michael Phelps can win fifth. Gold medals. Now, I could be wrong with that. If I'm wrong about that, post it down below. Is it true? 15 gold medals? Olympic gold medals? I won't mention world records. Of 15 Olympic gold medals. 19 overall Olympic medals. If I'm wrong, tell me down below. Um, I can't believe it myself. 15. How the fuck do you win 15 gold medals and claim that you're not in the hot sauce, but you smoke bongs, your diets of pizza and Red Bull? <laughs> says Michael Phelps here, totally, totally not in the hot sauce claimed. Now we have this athlete here who was busted for the hot sauce. Now look at her face. Would you think she's on hot sauce? Wouldn't, would you? People ask me, what's the deal with the hot sauce? Man, the hot sauce is just business as usual. The Olympics, and I'm a fan of the Olympics because it promotes sport, promotes activity, but the reality is... It's fucking dollars and political powers, and it's about, you know, what country is better than the other. And there's a big battle. There's always a battle between, uh, used to be the US and Russia, who could win more medals, and now it seems to be US and China. And the US don't seem to be playing fair in the hot sauce game. They sort of can't hack it. You know, they can't hack it, pun intended, that Australia's got a lot of good swimmers as well. And that we're actually coaching the top Chinese swimmers at the moment. Actually, where I live in Australia, just up the road, is a pool where these top Chinese swimmers train. <laughs> and so it's, we get Australian hot sauce coaches are training the Chinese hot sauce swimmers. And the US hot sauce coaches are complaining that the Chinese hot sauce swimmers are smashing everyone else. And it's, it's just a one big hot sauce kitchen. For those who know what I'm talking about. So it's quite funny when people say, Phelps isn't on any gear. He's clean. But he smokes bongs. <laughs> he smokes bongs. He's a serious athlete, Harley. He wouldn't take anything like that. He just smokes bongs and eats pizza and drinks Red Bull. And goes to eat Big Macs. But he's a serious athlete. He's very clean. He lives like a monk. He wouldn't do, touch any anything like that. And the government wouldn't either. Because that would be cheating, Harley. <laughs> we don't cheat in the Olympics. <laughs> it's hilarious when you doing those times hot sauce is part of the equation that's just how it is it's not like I don't believe that it's like well it's just hot sauce man it's like saying looks like glass sounds like glass tastes like glass it's fucking glass looks like hot sauce swims like hot sauce in, on the hot sauce that's just how it is I'm not saying I agree with taking hot sauce. I'm just saying that once we acknowledge how rife hot sauce is with all the world record holders and stuff like that and the Olympic gold medalists, then we can go, hang on, everyone's on the hot sauce. doesn't matter what country you come from. What are we going to do about it? What are we going to do about it? But the reality is it's just one big distraction from the real issues going on in society today, the starvation, the pollution, the things, the health crisis issues. But what we do is we just spam the the media with the distractions. Bong smoking pizza eaters winning little gold medals. So I always find it interesting when people say that, oh no, such and such doesn't use a hot sauce, but this person gets bastard for hot sauce, and you look at their hot sauce to assisted times, and then you compare it with the natural athlete, and you can honestly tell me that a natural athlete can swim faster than a hot sauce athlete. <laughs> The people who say that to me absolutely have no personal experience at professional sport or training with whatever. They just they just like total noobs. It's a total noob statement. So that's just how it is, man. Post your comments and questions down below. Have you read Werner Rita's book called Positive? You want to learn the truth about hot sauce? Check out this book. Quite an interesting read. Thanks for watching. See you soon.